afternoon everybody it's Chris Palme here live at Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton for tonight's CFL matchup between the Toronto Argonauts who are 4-0 taking on the 2-3 Hamilton Tiger Cats and I have a special guest tonight his name is RJ Broadhead he is the play-by-play uh, -play announcer for the CFL's Hamilton Tiger Cats on the Tiger Cats audio network RJ how you doing good Chris good looking forward to this one tonight Thoughts on the game between the uh, Grey Cup champion Argonauts and the Hamilton Tiger Cats? Yeah, it's always good when these two teams meet. They meet four times in the regular season. Toronto was pretty dominant in the first meeting. They've been pretty dominant in all their games. So it'll be a tough test for the Tiger Cats, who've won two in a row. But they beat Ottawa. They beat Edmonton. This is a game, if the Tiger Cats want to prove in the first third of the season that they're a contender, they, they have to perform well tonight. Thoughts on the Tiger Cats quarterback for tonight, and uh, also I believe they signed Antonio Pimpkin uh, as well. Yes, absolutely. Antonio Pipkin will be the third string quarterback. Kai Loxley may come in a few series. He's the second string, but Taylor Powell is the starting quarterback. He's a rookie. He was at Carolina Panthers camp in the NFL, so he got to training camp late for the Tiger Cats. Nine days he had in camp and then he really played the majority of the first preseason game played the second half of the second preseason game and you look back at those two preseason games where he got a lot of reps in the CFL those come in handy now that he has to see real game action so the Tiger Cats down to their third string quarterback a rookie his first start but his first CFL pass came last week it was a touchdown and he's got a lot of confidence he's got a great arm he can run He's going to be a good quarterback. We'll see how he performs tonight against one of the best defenses. So it's a, it's a tough test for a rookie quarterback in his first start, but he's got a ton of potential. And there's some connections between the Argonauts and the Cats tonight. Uh, quick thoughts on David Unger, Unger uh, with the Argonauts and also... Uh, Jagarrett Davis and Chris Edwards, how have they fit in with uh, Hamilton this year? Yeah, first of all, David Unger, great guy, worked out all offseason uh, here in Hamilton, and um, I'm so happy he's having success with the Argos. He works as hard as anybody, so it's it's uh, you know it's nice to see that hard work pay off. Uh, with Jagera Davis, he's been really good, a real team guy. He won't play tonight. He's on the one-game injured list, uh, and Chris Edwards is is unbelievable football player. He's got he's got sacks, he's got interceptions, he's scored a touchdown from defense, he actually saved the game against Ottawa. Uh, Dustin Crum, the rookie quarterback, he had a clear lane to the end zone and uh, Chris Edwards came out of nowhere to make make a play. So he's, uh, he, he's definitely a star football player, great football player, he's got a temper, which sometimes is a good thing, sometimes not such a good thing. So. We'll see. He had a little chip on his shoulder in the last game against the Argos. I think we'll see a lot of 24 for the Tiger Cats in the middle of things tonight against the Argonauts. And finally, before we wrap this up, what are some keys to a Tiger Cat win tonight against Toronto? Yeah, they, they can't turn the ball over. That's been a real problem for them this year. Last year it was a big problem. They've cleaned that up. The defense has been better at getting takeaways. But defensively, they're going to have to find a way to stop the Argos. And they're going to have to find a way to take the ball away. Argos only have five turnovers in their four games, so they don't turn the ball over very often. So that'll be a big key for the Tiger Cats. They have to protect the ball, they have to be disciplined, and they have to find a way to stop the Argos offense and take that ball away on defense. Okay, and for those who can't make it down to the game tonight, where can fans uh, listen to you and Luke Tasker on the radio? Yeah, it's uh, listen.tycats.ca is uh, the place to catch the Ticats audio network. You'll be able to, to see from there where to where to listen. But, uh, you know, Luke Tasker, great Tiger Cat. His dad, Steve Tasker, great Buffalo Bill. So he's a uh, he's great analyst, and, and we have a great time. And, and, you know, we always look forward to the game. So looking forward to this one tonight. All right, well, thank you so much again, RJ, for doing this, and I hope you have a great game call with uh, Luke. Anytime, Chris. Tie cuts suck.